and for today's video I will be filming a beauty room tour. I am so excited to share all my tips and tricks because this room is almost completely DIY. I actually have divided this room into three sections which is quite different from probably videos that you've watched before. So my three sections are my workspace, my beauty organizers, and my filming setup. I'm gonna go in depth on all three sections and I'm gonna share with you guys where I bought everything just in case you're interested. I know I haven't been on YouTube for some time now, but it's only because I've been super dedicated to Instagram and I just recently hit 300K on there, which I am so happy and proud of myself. But now I really do wanna dedicate some time to YouTube, so I'm planning on posting once a week on Wednesdays. And my YouTube channel is gonna be a little more in depth of what you see on Instagram. So on Instagram, you kind of see the mini one minute tutorials and here you're gonna see some tutorials as well, but you're gonna see a little bit of lifestyle. You're gonna see a few PR unboxings. I'm also gonna go a little more in depth on how I got onto some PR list if you're interested in that. If you are enjoying this video so far, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also click on that bell. You're gonna get notified every single time I post and I would really like for you to join our little family. With all that being said, let's get on with the video. This is my workspace. Everything work related is done here, such as answering emails and editing videos. I edit on the software Final Cut Pro. I did upgrade about six months ago because I would use iMovie. Final Cut Pro is an investment. It costs $299. The desk I'm using is from Ikea. It's called the Paw Desk. It was pretty affordable, around $59, and the height is adjustable. The chair I'm using is from Amazon. I'm not sure how much it was, but I will have it linked below. I forgot to mention that before editing on the iMac, I was using a MacBook Air and got used to the trackpad, so I had to purchase the trackpad separately when I upgraded to the iMac. Moving on to my makeup organizers, this is my Pax wardrobe system from Ikea. I bought the largest one. I'm not sure what the measurements are, but I will have it linked as well. And I'm going to just start by the top. This is where I keep all my PR packages. Not all of them, but just the prettiest ones that I wanted to use for some decor. As you guys can see here, I have the two Frozen collections, the Elsa and Anna, and I do have the Life Liner from Huda Beauty. It is just so beautiful, and I love how it adds to the room. In the pull-out drawer, I have all my liquid lipsticks, and they're all organized by brand. I do have a lot of ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I'm just so in love with them, and they've also sent so much to me in PR. But here we have a lot from Sigma as well, and Ofra and a few lip liners. In this drawer, I have all my primers, foundations, concealer, and setting spray. It does look a bit all over the place, and it's because I've had to lay down some of the cream products and concealers because every time I close a drawer, it all falls, and it was really annoying, so I just decided to lay down all the cream products and then keep all my bottles upwards. Here is a closer look to how I have my concealers laying down. It's not the prettiest, but they're not moving around anymore and they're not falling every single time I just close the drawers. Now on to my favorite drawer. This is where I keep all my eyeshadow palettes. I have a similar problem here, like the concealers. I can't keep all the palettes upright because they tend to fall over when I shut the drawer. I do want to mention that the majority of the palettes have been gifted to me by brands. I would not be able to afford all of these if it wasn't for PR. In this next drawer, I really don't know where I'm going with it. I do have my Deborah Cosmetic lashes, my ColourPop lashes, and my Huda Beauty lashes. But then on the other side, I just have a whole bunch of random products, which I really do have to organize. This is how the other side looks. I have a whole bunch of glitters from ColourPop and then I have the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. I'm obsessed with those. 
In this drawer, I keep all my powders, bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. But soon my highlighters are going to outgrow this drawer because I already have three full sections of just highlighters. I'm just so obsessed with highlighters. In this drawer, I keep all my skincare products. One thing you might not know about me is that I'm a huge skincare junkie and I love trying out new products. When I'm trying out new products, I do try them out for about a month before I give you my honest review, but I just love having the skincare drawer. I also reach for a lot of these products when I'm filming my regular skincare tutorials on Instagram. And yeah, I'm just so obsessed with this drawer. It's just so nice. I know it's all messy, but it's still cute at the same time. Moving on to my vanity. I am so obsessed with my vanity mirror. The mirror was actually gifted to me by Impressions Vanity. And it just goes so well with the room and really pulled this area together. My drawers are from Ikea. They're the Alex drawers. Alex drawers are pretty expensive. They cost $89 each, but before I had the Michaels dupe and they fell apart. So I really don't recommend those if you have a lot of makeup and you're going to store them in these drawers. But the Alex drawers are amazing. They're super sturdy and I haven't had any issues with them since I bought them almost a year and a half ago. The chair that I'm using, I got from Marshalls, and I actually got it really cheap. It was $12, so if you're looking for an affordable option, you should definitely head to your Ross or Marshalls. They have a wide selection of chairs, and I really got lucky with this one, but it's not the chair I wanted in the first place. I did want the Tobias chair from Ikea, but that chair is $79 and I really didn't want to pay $79 for an uncomfortable chair. So I'm just keeping this one for now and maybe later I'll splurge and get it. Moving on to my filming area. This is where all the magic happens. This is where I film my daily Instagram videos. A lot of people think this section would be a lot bigger, but you actually have to be in a cubicle because you want the light to be bouncing around and get your face evenly. So with that being said, the first thing I'm going to talk about is my lighting. So I have three soft boxes from Fovi Tech and I got them off Amazon. They were like $1.98 for all three and it comes with two side soft boxes and one headlight. I really do like these soft boxes. I had purchased an affordable option on Amazon. A few years ago and they did not work as well one thing I love about these is that they're dimmable they actually have five bulbs inside and then as you can see here you can change the settings the desk that I'm using is the Alex desk and this is also from Ikea this was actually gifted to me by my sister and what I love about it is that it's very spacious and allows me to move around freely the ring light that I'm using is from Muir. This one is the 18 inch LED. If you're thinking about getting a ring light, make sure it is LED. You do not want to get a ring light that's not LED. You will be sweating. Those things get so hot. I know from experience, I wanted to save a couple dollars. It was so uncomfortable to film and I would just be really hot the entire time. I also use a monitor just to make sure that everything is in focus. Here is the back view of the ring light. A big reason why I love this ring light is because it is dimmable. I highly recommend if you're looking for a ring light to buy one that's dimmable. This is going to be essential when you're filming any type of video and you don't want to have so much heavy light on your face. I have a reflector laid across my desk and the reasoning behind this is because I was getting shadows around my neck and I read that if you lay a reflector down it actually bounce the light and brighten all those areas. I actually got this from Home Depot and it was like $12 and this is called the Insel Foam. The chair I sit on when I film is from Ikea as well. It doesn't have the best back support, that's why I added a pillow, but since I've added the pillow, it's been pretty comfortable and it just works for me and 
it's white so it matches with everything else in the room hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any video recommendations let me know down below i would love to hear your suggestions do you have any recommendations on how i can maybe tweak this room a little bit or maximize the space also let me know below and as always i love you guys so much and i'll catch you on the next one bye